Okay. So what we'll do on this in the, in the next, let's just take, let's just say 15 minutes we'll, or we'll try to do it in 15 minutes, but we'll set up a calendar. Now, okay. what you just asked, seller appointments, no, to tell you the truth, I would, I would use this for everything. I would use my Karcher calendar for every appointment from this point on. Anything regarding your business, I would use it. And there's three main reasons why I would use it. So yeah, name it something general, not just seller, right? Like name it, you know, your, your appointment, your, your calendar, or name it, your real estate name, whatever. Like, um, yeah, perfect appointments. Perfect. So, so why I would use it for everything. Cause just number one, yeah. Hit the green one. It makes your, it makes you look more professional. Now you have an online calendar. Right now, you now you can send traffic there and, and people can book times with you. It makes it just that professionalism just stands out. Okay. But 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 also from this point on, hit save and next. Everyone that schedules an appointment is now on a list. So I'm able to segment people in my life. I'm able to I'm able to put these people that have ever came across my path through an appointment on a list. Mm -hmm. That's super powerful because now I can email that list anytime in the future. Okay. That's super important, right? Because if you think about it now, all you've had a million appointments, you've been in the business for a minute, mm -hmm. you've had a million appointments. Imagine you probably have all those contacts scattered all over the place. Maybe you have oh. them, maybe, maybe, maybe you are organized and you actually have them in a CRM. Okay, I cool. <laughs> but I most don't. A CRM, but not, not right? via calendar. Yeah, most, they're all exactly. All most are all scattered. That's how I was too. And I'm like, dude, let me just put everyone through this pipe. And, and, and now be able to categorize them and put them on a list. Because if I want to communicate with them in the future, I could, freak, I could freaking email them. Right. That's super powerful. But then also I can take that list. I could take that list, upload it to Facebook, create a Facebook custom audience, and then exclude them from seeing future ads. Or I can retarget them. Imagine if you had a list of everyone who's ever scheduled an appointment with you, whether they bought or sold or nothing. Imagine if you just had a list and then you ran an ad to them. Hey guys, this is Heather. Hey, I know we spoke in the past. You've actually scheduled a time and we, we took time and we actually spoke. Hey, have you purchased yet? If mm -hmm. not, I'd love to talk to you, right? Imagine running a specific message to people who have done some, a certain you know, thing and, and you can relate to that audience and, and run the most effective message. That's powerful. Okay. You know, so, so list and then, and then, and then number three, what was, what was number three? Um, I forgot number three, but whatever, but put a title here, put a description here. And then, and then the duration. Like this title, does, is this title something that they can see as well? They'll see that part. Yeah. Those, they see the actual class title, but I don't think they see the description or even actually they see the calendar name in the tab. So as they're on the page, on the calendar, they'll see the, the calendar name, but yeah, this is what they'll see for sure as well. The class title. Okay. Oh, okay. Consultation, book your. Yeah, book your book your one on one call now, or book your one on one yeah call now, or something like that. And you can always change this for sure as well. Okay. Okay, so the description, you know, strategy call on buying and selling real estate or whatever, like. Um, the description. This would be um, appointments for real estate. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay. And then, and then the duration, and then, um, and then the the team member hit that drop down, and then choose your name. So for the duration, what is that? Do I need to like? Just based on 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 how long you want to take your phone calls, that's that will reflect on on the calendar. For example, so if I schedule an appointment with you, it's for a one hour slot. Gotcha. Okay. Right. So mm -hmm. I'll see that one hour slot available or not, or and and yeah, you can base it on fifteen minute calls or thirty minute calls. So yeah, so that, add? Uh, yeah, click on add. And then, so now available days and start time. So select all the days that you want to be available and then, and then all the times. And if, if, if each day is different, then do, do one at a time, do, do Monday. If you have a certain schedule, Monday and Wednesdays, then, then let's do Monday and Wednesdays right now. And then we'll do the time and then, and then we'll do Tuesday and Thursday <laughs> and then select a time. Okay. Monday. So so far right now, my only busy days are um, Wednesday and Thursday, like, you yeah, know, whatever extra, I have mm -hmm. you know, extracurricular activities with the kids and so forth. Yep, so for sure. So, so let's, let's, let's jot that down now. Like this is based on your real, real life schedule. So, um, 
And then Saturday and Sunday, I mean, I can make time. So each day there is, is the same time. Yeah. Okay, cool. So select time and then, and then just choose those hours. Yeah. I'd go by the hour. And again, based on whatever you put at the top, if it was 30 minute duration, then you would go every 30 minutes here, but you went one hour. So let me change the Saturday. Yeah. See, so every day might be a little different and that's what you want to do is, is make sure that you do the hours you know, based on Does that. It add? Yeah. Add. Well, you do. Is it only nine o'clock on Monday, Tuesday, Friday? No, it's, I can do like nine. Like I kind of wanted to just scatter them out a little bit, you know, like, okay, maybe one at nine, maybe one at 11. Yeah. But do it by the hour since you went one hour duration at the top. Right. So do it here one hour. Yeah. So if it's nine, 11, a 2 PM, right. Don't put 11, 15, 11, 30, 11, 45. You know what I mean? Right. So okay. Based on the, the hour. Yeah, and then the, the third reason I, I forgot my brain farted a few minutes ago, but, but the third reason why I would push all through my calendar um, is mainly because of the booking. The, I like the booking confirmation, the email reminders, right? So that happens automatically. That email that goes out the moment someone books a call, that's professional, right? And then, and then being able to, to have the system email them a reminder before our call and I can put whatever I want in that email, that's, that's, that's pretty cool too. So that's why I use Karcher, the calendar for everything. Okay. You know, so, so now that I have this, um, do I go ahead and, uh, um, yeah, so add. hit add. Yeah. So hit add. And then, um, and then, so now one we always go days. the other days now. Yeah. So that, that was Monday, Tuesday, Friday. So yeah, choose the other ones. See, that's why I push all traffic through my calendar because everyone wants to talk. Everyone, everyone needs something. Everybody's trying to book. A, well, at least some of us that have businesses where, you know, we're dealing with clients. Everyone wants your, everyone wants your freaking time, Heather. Okay. Right. So if I can funnel everyone through this one bat channel and, and get them to, to schedule that time based on my time. Right. Right. That's powerful, man. Right. Yeah, we have kids and we have other activities going on. It's like I can't jump on a call whenever. Go to my calendar and freaking schedule it. Like I'd love to talk to you. Just schedule it there. You know what I mean? And so that's that's what makes makes it a lot more, much easier as well. Okay, perfect. So then here I'm just gonna say okay. So everything to the right, you can leave all that checked, and then mm -hmm. all the all the months. <clears throat> leave that and the number of sessions you can leave it at one that's fine and then the minimum booking appointments or notice I should say this is this, they're all different ones right like so me personally I go don't allow same day booking right mm -hmm. so that's just me in my business but mm -hmm. you can you could put either no booking notice or or whatever right that's all based on on your schedule and then um yeah so choose whichever one's most relevant yeah, if you take calls right now, cool, leave it, leave it like that. Perfect. So the booking restrictions, what I do personally is I only go the next three days. You can go the next seven days. Again, based on your business, you might, you might, you know, not mind calls booked 27 days out. But me, like it's like if you go to my calendar, let's chat now. Like, especially, you know, if it's regarding helping you, right? So I want to talk to you sooner than later. And right. I, I have experienced where people, when people schedule an appointment two days or two weeks later, it's like, dude, they always forget. Right. No matter okay. how many times you hit them up, like, you know what I mean? So you go to the calendar, you're only going to see the next three days available. Right. And then you can book any dates out, book out your anniversary, block out Christmas, whatever, like you can block any dates you want there. And then here at the bottom, sync appointments to, to, to double avoid. You don't have any other calendars. So that's fine. You don't, you don't need that part. Just hit save. The green one. So as we move through each step of, of the calendar, you always want to click on the green save. So hit that save at the top. Yeah, perfect. And then we go to registration and then that's, that's um, yeah, save and next. And then we go to the next one, registration. And then this is, this is just free. So hit the green one, save the time zone conversion. Just leave that, let your user select, hit save, and then save and next. And then the next step um, right here, what we want to do is we want to, we want to redirect to, an, to another page. So click at that top, the redirect to another page. Now this other page, this is super, super important. And this other page is super, super powerful. Um, but it's really important to track your ads or, or to even just um, exclude from ads as well. So for example, those that actually schedule a call, 
as I mentioned earlier, they land on a list. That's why I use the Kartra calendar, right? Because anyone, they, they're all, they're all going to be on an appointment list, on an appointment list. So that that's one thing I can I can leverage is the email list. But but the second is the fact that I could just take the link. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the destination page at the bottom, external URL. So so the moment they book a a call, they're going to be redirected to this next page. So it's going to be a Kartra page. And then it's going to be the call confirm page, which you should have. So no site in particular. And then the Kartra page is the call confirm page. Yeah, perfect. So that call confirmed. So go up to the top, hit the save. The reason why that's so powerful is because now we have that link. The call confirm page is its own page. It's its own link. We're going to take that link and create a custom audience inside of Facebook. So again, I can either create that, that custom audience of appointments with, with everyone's email. I could take the list and upload it to Facebook. Or I can just have the link and give it to Facebook and say, hey, man, anyone who lands on this link, put them in this audience. Okay. And that's the call confirm link, right? And again, that audience is so I can exclude them, exclude them from seeing future ads. That's good. You know what I mean? So again, or I can, or I can target them. Hey, this is Heather. I noticed you, you know, we set an appointment before, blah, blah, right? Like, so I can, I can either target them, but most of the time it's excluding them. It's excluding them from seeing any more ads. Um, so here, this is where your email goes. So that's why this, so this is another email that needs to be um, set up is the, is the, um, is the email reminder. So this and that is, won't go to Gmail, you said? No, that has to be a, your, your professional email. So yeah, once we're done, I'm going to reach out to GoDaddy and, and see what's up with that. So I'll message you soon. Okay. But, but so here, just don't send. So, okay. so we're going to, we're going to want that for sure. Watch, for example, leave it at yes, leave it at yes, and then just hit the green the green one, save. We do need to change that out or else it won't work. But we can but change it later. We could change it later because once you hit yes, this is what I wanted to show you was what this, this opened up. So now we have booking confirmation and email reminder. So these are the two emails that you wanna you want to put, put together as well. And there's already a basic template there. So if you click on yes, click on yes in the booking um, and then hit the pencil. So there's there's the basic email and this is just an example. So we come in here and, and we can rename the subject line, right? Your booking is confirmed at the top. You can rename that. You can, so now we're back in the email. So I can either go, yeah, so I can go advanced at the very top. So very top left advanced. And then I can go into, if I save that template, right? From email number one, I can go to design templates to the left design templates. And then I can click on the, the pink heart and I would have seen my template right there. In fact, well, shit, there's your template right there, Heather. Hmm. Did you say that one? I don't think so, unless we did it before. <laughs> click it and drag it over. So you're gonna click it and drag it over. So that's why I, I use a template, right? It saves me a ton of time. Yes, I need to edit the text, right. but at least the header, at least the footer, all the social media icons, at least that's already optimized, right? And, and if that button, since this will be template from email number one, for example, and the button says seller guide, and now we're on email number two, Back I'll just change out the button. Click here to watch my recent video. Do and I'll send them to a Facebook video or I'll send them to a YouTube video. Do I put the seller's packet here since it's saying I got my seller's guide or? No, you can change out that text. That's all I'm saying. So now we're on a different email. Okay, so they've already been sent that email then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's This is With just the template. So download. delete okay. that. So I can change out the text in the top left, right? Click here to the top left, the copy right where you see the word click here, that's the text on the button. So right now you're in the button to the left, you're in the button, right? So, mm -hmm. so I can change out that text at the top where it says click here. Do you see that in the um, copy no, box to the top left? Okay. Yeah. That's for the button. We're in the button right now. So, so I can, so if this was a template, which it is now we're on a completely different email, I can leave the button there or I can remove it or I so can, I can put, I, I can just put like, um, the, the call button for the appointments, that'll be on the first one too. Well, any, anything can be on anything. We now have a template. So now we're going to just use this template over and over and over, and we could put whatever the hell we want right here, but we gotta, we gotta keep in mind which email is which, like this is a booking confirmation email, right? So here, are we trying to get them on zoom or are we trying to get them to call up? Like, is it a phone call? I don't know. Either way, I guess. Well, see, this is an email that I would receive once I scheduled a call with you. Okay, so um, 
So there doesn't even have to be a button there is what I'm saying. Like this so they, is the and, they, and they can add it to their calendar. Is there a way for that or? Good question. No, we could, no, 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 but, but that's why we want to set up the reminders. So the email reminders. So again, there doesn't have to be. Don't even need this button yeah, there's probably, the, there's probably no need for a button right there. Um, but the, 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 the verbiage oh, like there's two of them. I was trying to delete all this. So yeah, delete the bottom one. So scroll down, and all you're gonna do is just in the blue. It's actually you can do the you could do the pink, but the blue you can see it's the whole whole thing. So yeah, delete that one, delete that one. And then change um, all this stuff. Either use the top yeah. footer or that bottom footer, or or delete the whole bottom. And and if that's already your top, use that top. No, okay, the yeah. the footer like the social media icons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, delete one of them. You know, you don't, yeah, you could take away that whole bottom row. Yeah. Perfect. So just optimize those ones. And again, so now, so my templates to the top left, go to that real quick. My templates, delete that template that's in there. Do I hit save first? No, no, no. Just do the, just go to the pink, my templates, and then just delete the one that's in there uh -huh. because we're going to save. So delete this one. Yeah. Delete that one. Delete. Cause you're going to, you're going to save this, this one. So now that we're now going to, optimize these no 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 leave that one what are mm -hmm. you doing i just deleted it sorry no that delete one's fine yeah perfect so this one is the one we want to save so okay. as we optimize these links at the bottom yeah update those those links at the bottom and then save this one okay you know but um and i can do that at a later date that's not a problem I'll yeah you it. could do that later but yeah always so so save as template you might as well at least at least save it as template um and so now you can use that same template. I would use that same template for every email from this point on. Right now we're in the e we're in the calendar emails, but the emails that are in your sequence after they download the seller guide. That template right there is awesome. Okay, like so I keep I keep dragging it over. Off. This is what my um, two to three follow email follow ups kind of. No, thing. this is the calendar. This is the booking confirmation yeah. from a, from an appointment. Okay. So that's so that's. Yeah, so here you you would hit the pencil and just write out this basic text, just thanking them, letting them know their calls confirmed, letting them know what we're going to cover, what we're going to go over, you know, how I, you know, questions I have, blah, 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 like whatever the hell that call is going to consist of, maybe let it, let me know here in a couple sentences. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and, and whether it's a phone call or whether it's a, it's a, um, it's a, um, it's a, it's a zoom call. So I don't know what, what, what do you do? Do you, are, are you using zoom calls? Or zoom more regular. So, um, yeah. So if anything, like, again, in the emails that you get from me, my booking email, my reminder email, you get my zoom link, right? That that's, <coughs> that's, I don't have a zoom link yet. So I guess I would just set that up. Well, you, zoom, zoom is free. You can set up a zoom, zoom.us. So if you go to zoom.us and just set up a free Zoom account, mm -hmm. you'll have, I have an account. I just yeah. Yeah, just your link. Just log in and grab your link. And then that's what I normally put in my email just because I, I do Zooms. But mm -hmm. um Okay. So I'll I'll try to work on that. But that's in my calendar. Okay. Yes, that and you can change that top two. Your booking is confirmed, right? You can change that. You can you can copy the dynamic variables. Go back in real quick. Hit yeah, the pencil again one one more time. Right here? Down, no, down the pencil, down the edit, the, um, your booking is confirmed. Just down where you were just at, hit the pencil and go back into the editing. Wait, I'm sorry. Right here? Yes. Yes. So this okay. takes you into the email where you can edit. So those dynamic variables at the top event, host coach, next session date, right? So you can go back to, go back to advanced. Yeah, for some reason that didn't that didn't save. Mm, okay. So design to yeah, there's your template. Okay, cool. So your template. So drag it over. And okay, then I perfect. can customize it when I need. Yes, you're gonna customize it. And then, but what I was saying is those dynamic variables at the top in the blue, you can always look at some of those and, and look at the most relevant. Look, next session date, next session time, you know, um, the event. Kind of give me an idea. No, that that if you copy, like do the do the do the session date and the session time. Copy, copy everything in the parentheses. Copy the print. No, not not that part. Just copy the parentheses. Yep, all of that. So that right there 
when that's in the email, so you copy and then, con and then, well, I don't know about on a, on a Mac, but PC it's control V. So mm -hmm. go into the text, like hit the pencil and, and go into, yeah, right there. Perfect. And paste it in somewhere, get away from the hot, the Hey part and maybe go, yeah, paste it, just paste it right there. So when that you have to, on PC, it's control V. I don't know what it is on Mac. How do you, how do you paste on Mac? I don't know. Yeah. So you copy and then yes, that's, that's the dynamic variable. So not only do I use it for the, for the date and times of certain events or whatever, but I also use it for their name. So to the very top left dynamic variables, click on that one. Yeah. Their first name's right there, but it's, it's to the left dynamic variables. Click on that drop down. So it's right here. Um, click on that. So mm -hmm. I can always copy it from there as well. So I use their first name for everything. Okay. Like I'm always putting their first name in, in emails. So when I do this and, and the ones in parentheses and I put like, you know, I put it right here, like this calendar next date mm -hmm. event, that will that auto populate with what they booked automatically? Yes, yes that's that what I'm there? saying. Yeah, okay. that's the dynamic variable. It auto populates their name, whatever, whatever variable, the date, okay. like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Use those um, for sure. So now go up to the very, very top. So you saved you saved it as a template, so you're good. So hit edit. Yeah, make sure you save it that way. Hit edit, and then um, and then save. That's the booking confirmation. The next one will be the email reminder, right? Mm -hmm. So so the way I have mine set up is is I click on yes, and then I and I'll have a I'll I'll, I'll set new reminder, and then this will be yeah. Click on that, and then here I can choose to have this email go out an hour before. So at the very very top, you see that the time. So I can have it go an hour before the session starts. And then, and then if you hit the drop down before the session starts, there's different options. So you can get kind of fancy with this. And this is all a one-time thing, like set this up one time and, 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 and the rest, you know, is history and then just push everyone through it. So, so the booking reminder, the email confirmation, I'll use the same template. So click on advanced and then, and then go to that, to, to, to design templates, go to my favorites, drag over yours and use that same one. You know, um, and just change the text. And I love that headline. Yeah, that image looks looks awesome. And then just change the text. That's it. And then maybe maybe add a button if 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 needed. You know, okay. so on the booking on the calendar emails, there's really no button for anything. But but in the sequence, right? If we were on email number four, here's the template. Maybe I'll add a button. Click here, John, for to schedule your best time. Because remember, in the You're emails, trying to reiterate. In the emails, what I'm doing is I'm reiterating that the seller guide in the email, I'm, I'm referring back to the seller guide. I keep educating them on each email. And maybe I have 17 emails set up because I have a 15 page PDF and I'm breaking down every freaking page in a cliff note and I'm making that my emails, right? Mm -hmm. But, but in, in, in every other email, for example, I'll have a button to my calendar. Hey, John. And by the way, man, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the button below, it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. And that might be email number nine. Okay. Right. So Got you're not going to set so up. I'm just going to save you for now. Yeah. So here again, emails that go out just because someone booked. But what I was talking about is the sequences. You don't have to have 17 emails set up right now. Set up at least three, four, maybe. And then okay. these two emails here on the calendar. And then you're ready to run. Then you're ready to run. And, and then as, as you move forward, what I do is I'll delegate, I'll delegate an hour a week or all, allocate, not delegate. I'll allocate. I'll put aside an hour a week. And what I do is I'll look at my sequences. I have different sequences. One sequence is for everyone who, who sets up Kartra through my link, which is, which is you. One sequence goes out to a list who are my clients, which is you. One list goes out to people that I'm helping with landing pages, which is you right? I have these different mm -hmm. sequences. And so what I do is I, I'll set like maybe an hour aside and I'll add three emails to sequence number one. Next week, I'll put an hour aside and I'll set up four emails for sequence number two. And so as I go every week, man, I'm just adding a few more emails to that sequence. And now today I have some sequences that have freaking 57 emails all in a sequence that go out every other day. And I have 57 of them. Okay. That's like months of nurturing a lead. And all I did was added a few every, every week. Right. Okay. So here, yeah, you might want to go set up three emails to get the seller guide campaign going. And then, yeah, every yeah. week, add three more, every week, add three more, every week, add three more. 
Okay. And it doesn't take a lot of time. Put aside freaking 30 minutes and go and put together two emails for the damn sequence, right? Okay. Because this is, again, and, and in these emails, they're fully optimized. In these emails, again, I'm breaking down the seller guide, but then after I get way past the seller guide, my, maybe I be, I'm talking about other listings. I'm talking about other, other, other open houses. I'm talking about other experiences in my business. And that makes up my email sequence. That makes up email number 19. And we'll get there when we get there. I'll give you many ideas, but what you want to ideally be thinking is long-term with this, because once a lead is in the system, especially if you're running ads, that person lives down the street. And so, yeah, they might not be looking to list. It's kind of like a CRM, right? It's a full-blown CRM with email well, that's automation. Good because the one that we have with my work, like I can't fit. It's really retarded. Yes, so. no, man. Every lead that comes in, every, every name, that comes into Heather's world from this point on should be going through a Kartra page. It should be going okay. through a Kartra funnel, a Kartra page, or a Kartra calendar. Because yes, we now want to start segmenting and collecting these leads, you okay. know? So, so here, yeah, fix these two emails later. So scroll down. And then, and then what we want to do is um, you could do yes reminder here, but hit the green button. And do you use, do you use Google calendar? Yes. Do we integrate the Google calendar already? No. Okay, hit save and next. Okay, cool. So today will be a full-blown setup of the calendar. So right here, yes, allow cancellations. If I need to cancel for whatever reason, allow me to do that with a click, right. right? So hit save, that's fine. And then instant approval, we based that time on your life, right? So if there, if that slot is available, it's freaking available. I don't need to manually approve anything, right? So instant approval, that's fine. And then save and next. And then um, over here, we want to sync with your Google calendar. So we have to actually integrate it first, and then we're going to come right back to this part. So assign tags to the right, assign tags, click change, and let's just set up a tag. Um, a tag, yes, assign tag. And everything that starts to happen, you know, every lead that starts to come in based on what they do, um, you can tag them. And, and tagging is just another form of tracking. It's just a way to track. It's just a way to segment leads. It's a way to set up automations. So a tag, in this case, appointments, scheduled appointments, right? That's the name of the tag, something like that. Appointments, scheduled appointments. Um, anyone and everyone who has came in, they'll be tagged, scheduled appointments. And then the description, same thing. I just put the same name. Um, and, then, and then the category, there's the, you just really have one category and that's real estate. So just hit the drop down for category and just put no category and then click create. So anyone that schedules an appointment will, will be simply tagged and I'll show you what we can do with tags in, in the future, but click on add and then click on save. Sure. Yeah. Add and then click on the green one, save and then below subscribe to list. So yes, everyone who comes in needs to be subscribed to a list. So click on change and then um, let's see if we have any lists there. Hit the drop down. Yeah. See, it's not seller guys. So let's create a list. So get away from that drop down, and then click on create new list to the bottom, right? Create new list. And then um, name that list. And I normally name it the same as I name that tag, you know, scheduled appointments is basic, you know, so you can rename it or edit it whenever, but the public description is simply um, what that lead sees if they ever were to unsubscribe from this list, which there's really no reason to. Um, unsubscribe, but if someone were to do that on this list, then they'll see, you know, the description. And what I like to do there is something brief that just details or, or just reminds them of, of how they even got here. You know, it's not even so sorry to see you go. It's not even that it's, it's kind of just reminding them. You could put that for sure. That's actually good. That's actually good. But it's also reminding them what list they're even on. Cause sometimes we even forget what list we're on. As I get a bunch of random ass emails, especially a lot of spam and a lot of advertisements. I forget what, what list I was even on to even get that damn email, right? Okay. So if I were to unsubscribe from that list, for example, it would tell me, it would tell me what list I was on. It'd give me some type of description of, and then I might be, oh, okay, shit, that, I remember her. I did download her seller guide or I did schedule a call So this is for seller guide? No, this is for your general calendar. So this, okay. would, this you could put something like, thank you for scheduling a call with Heather Schwan with whatever, like, it could be something like that, you know, thank you for thank, just reminding them, reminding them of what list they were on. It's a, it's a simply because they scheduled an appointment with you because they scheduled an appointment with Heather. You know what I mean? So thank you for scheduling a one-on-one -on -one call with Heather Schwan. Perfect. Create. Okay. So that's a list. Um, you can hit, hit the add button. Yeah. Click on create. And then um, 
click the blue add button and then save it. And then sequence, they don't need to be on a sequence here. I don't set that up part, I don't set that part up here. Save it next and that's it. And then let's do this real quick. Let's integrate. No, you're fine there. Hit save it next, the bottom. And that's it. So now click on cart your hosted pages. This is your calendar link. So hit the pencil to the very, very right. Let's change out that link. Hit the drop down to the left. And there's your, your, now this is the domain that's integrated. So, so that becomes the domain tied to the calendar. And I know that does not really, that's not really, a, choose your domain for sure. And just put calendar, you know, choose the domain, go ahead and hit the drop down. hit the, hit, choose your domain right there at the bottom. Mm -hmm, right here. Yeah. Choose your, choose your domain. And then you can always rename the forward slash, take away that X, Z, whatever it is to the very right and just name it calendar or whatever. But that's not really a link that you really, you know, want to promote your calendar on because it's tied to right. that domain, which doesn't even really, right? It's kind of off, right? The naming. Who cares? No one even cares. So just mm -hmm. book now. That's your calendar link. Save. See, so in my case, look, here's what I'm trying to explain. In my case, my domain that I have within Kartra is the five-step blueprint right? That's the domain that I have inside of Kartra. That's tied to all my pages that I run ads to. And because it's the domain that I have in Kartra, it's also the domain tied to my calendar. So, so how so, many domains am I supposed to have? No, just one. But here's what oh. I'm saying. I don't go around promoting that link, the five step blueprint.com forward slash calendar, right? I don't really go around promoting that because I have other businesses that I help where they're like, if they looked at that, they're like, what the hell is the five step blueprint? That's not David. Right. Mm -hmm. So in this case, if you're sending me that link telling me to schedule the call to buy because I'm trying to buy a house, but you're sending me a seller guide domain. Right. That doesn't really that doesn't really make sense. But at the same time, no one cares. So I'm not even trying to I don't even want you to overthink it. But what I'm trying to explain is the fact that what I did is I simply and this is not something you got to do at all. But what I did, I, I simply got Zoom call with David dot com. Zoom call with David dot com. And if you go to zoomcallwithdavid.com, it forwards you to this link that doesn't really make sense, but it's still, it's still, it's still my calendar. You know what I mean? Does that kind of make sense? So I can just get like another domain if I really wanted if to. If you really, like, really wanted to. I'm, yeah. I'm saying you don't have to at all. But yeah, if you really wanted to, like you can easily do that. That's what I did because I just uh, buying another domain, you know, whatever, but, yeah. well, that but makes for now, sense I wouldn't want seller guide to be in everything. Cause I'm going to be after this one, eventually I'm going to be doing a buyer guide. So. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, so, okay. so the, the calendar is general for everyone and anything. And, and, and so I just wouldn't promote that link. I'd get a different domain if I was going to promote a link at all. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Okay. But nine out of 10 times, actually 10 out of 10 times, 10 out of 10 times when I'm actually booking an appointment with somebody, I'm doing it. So I'm not even sending them my calendar link 10 out of 10 times. So my appointments that I have every single day with, with agents, just like you, 10 out of 10 of them is not because I sent them my calendar link. 10 out of 10 of them is because I scheduled the appointment on my end. And so the way I do it, so go ahead and put calendar. It doesn't even matter. Put whatever, put calendar and then just save it. Hit the check mark to the right. No, type it in there and then hit the check mark. The way I schedule my appointments is I just come in and I, I manually do it myself. If it's someone that's not clicking a button in an email, if it's not someone that's clicking a button from a landing page or excuse me, from a thank you page, right? On your thank you page, you have the click the button to schedule a call, right? You have that button on your thank you page. What I'm also telling you to put is to put that calendar link in your emails. That's different. That's from someone scheduling a call and clicking on a button, Right. Mm -hmm. But if I was going to say, hey, John, yes, I'd love to talk to you. Here's my link to my calendar. Schedule your best time. I don't do that. Okay. So that's why this link right here doesn't even matter because I'm not going to okay. be prom prom promoting that link anyways. 10 out of 10 times, I'm taking it into my own hands and I'm saying, hey, man, give me your best time. Send me your email and best time. I'll okay. schedule it and, 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 and email you a confirmation. But you're hoping that they'll, they'll click the book now and then you'll, they'll be redirected to your calendar and so forth from that way, right? No, 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 no. That's if I sent you the link. Yeah, if I sent you the link, yeah, you're going to go to my calendar and you're going to book a call. But what I'm telling you is I don't even do it that way. Okay. 
I don't even. It's a little confusing. Just it's it's kind of a lot of information all at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like all I'm saying is that it doesn't matter what you put here because that's okay. not a link you're going to promote. Okay. To go to your calendar, anyways. It, it. It, it's going to be hidden in a button, if anything, which it's hidden in a button on your thank you page, and it's and it's hidden in in a button in your emails. Okay. But publicly, I don't even see that. Okay. Right. The way I book appointments is I'll come into my communications and just manually book it. If it's just someone manually, if you just run into someone in the streets and say, hey, let's chat, I'll come in here and I'll hit my communications and add the lead and book it that way. I wouldn't okay, give so that person I on, my am I, am I done on this one right here? Yes. Okay, so, so I'm going to go to the my communications like you were talking about, just kind of so I can see what you're talking about. Yes. And so so if I was, yeah, so if you and I ran into each other and you're, and, and I'm saying, I'd love to talk to you regarding purchasing, Heather, when can we chat? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Would you send me your calendar link and tell me to schedule an appointment? Um, y yes and no. No, we're not doing it that way, right? Okay. We're not doing that way. What, 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 what I would have said is I would have said, yeah, sure, Dave. Okay, great. Send me your email and best time tomorrow. Okay. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. Okay. Now, this is someone offline. So that's where, okay, or, they would give me their information and then I would add it and leave. Yes. It. Or this is through a direct message or a comment. That's how I do it because that's how that's 10, that's normally nine out of 10 of my appointments where I'm actually scheduling it, where I'm actually either getting it through a direct message, I'm getting it through a comment, or it's someone that I'm meeting offline. Okay. And we're scheduling an appointment. Okay. I don't send them my calendar link. Gotcha. I come in here, I hit my communications, I click on the green one, click on the blue, I mean the, the blue, click on the green leads button to the bottom right. And then I create the lead. So if mm -hmm. I come in here and I create that lead, I just ran into Stacy down the street and her and her husband are thinking about buying I'm taking her name, I'm taking her email, and I'm entering it this way. Okay. And I'm going to book the calendar and I'm going to book that appointment this way. So do it with me, test it, put in my first name, put in my email, and, 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 then, and then hit calendars and schedule a call with me. So I just hit you up. I'm interested in buying, put my email at the bottom, put anything, put something fake, make it up, david at gmail.com in the email. Yeah. So I just hit you up. I want to talk real estate. You're, you're scheduling the appointment. You're not sending me your link, right? So now you, now you save it. You got to save it first. So you just entered name and email, save it first. And then it brings you back in and hit calendars. Schedule that call. So se select a calendar, Heather Schwan. Now, again, this is not something you're going to do for every single freaking appointment at right. all. This is how I do it offline. This is how I do it when I'm scheduling an appointment with somebody one-on-one -on -one and, and, and it's a direct message or whatever. So pick a date, pick a date and, 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 and then pick a time based on your calendar, right? Pick a time, any time. Um, and this part's in military time. So that 13 is, is 1 p.m., 14 is 2 p.m. So most of my calls are, are kind of in the morning. So, so yeah, pick that time, hit the circle. I mean, hit the, yeah, the, the zero. Okay. So you just scheduled for you and I to talk tomorrow at 8 a.m. or on the 10th. Hit add. Now, because it's a calendar appointment, because, because you just scheduled an appointment through the calendar, what just happened? I, the lead, just received that booking confirmation email. And an hour before our call, I'll receive the email reminder. Got it. Right? This is for any random appointment. Okay. Any lead coming in through a funnel yeah, they're going to either see that button on a thank you page to, to your calendar, mm -hmm. or they're going to see your calendar link in a button in your emails. Okay. And then right? I guess one last question before yes. we get off that I had, um, if I go to, I think it's my pages, the question that I had was regarding this email sequence, because I was trying to get that video mm -hmm. off. Do, and then um, do I have to have that on there? Or is that once they get no, you could take it off for sure. We can go in there and edit. We can move it, move everything. Now, one thing we want to do real quick is, is integrate your, your Gmail, it, integrate your Google Calendar. Okay. That's what we want to do for sure. But yes, let's look at this real quick. So all we're going to do is click on my integration. So what I do as I'm working throughout my day, I'll have, my, my, I'll have a tab open with my Google Calendar, and then I'll have the Google Calendar app on my cell phone. And so as my appointments are scheduled on my cartridge, go down to the Google one and then click on the three dots and click on new integration. 
once people schedule on the, on the Kartra calendar, it syncs over here and, and I just manage my Google calendar. So cool. choose which one. Or maybe I should do the other one. Well, see, I don't, I, I have everything yeah. connected to my Gmail right now. What's that? I have everything connected to my Heather Chuan at gmail.com, but then I do have another account. I haven't even acted on um, for my DFW yeah, okay. I'm just going to keep it for this one for now. Because yeah, that's just, fine. You can always change it. Okay. So check those those two bottom boxes there to the right and then hit continue. Okay, cool. And then all this is going to do is, is now talk to Kartra. And um, and and now we want to go back in real quick. So that was easy. We want to go back into my calendars to the, to the left real quick and then click on the three dots and go into edit. And then we're going to get to that last um, setting. So we'll click on edit, edit. And then right over here, so automations, click on change at the top, sync, and then just click yes, and then hit the drop down on both sides and choose yours, and that's it. So it goes vice versa, right? So everyone who, who schedules on, cart on a cartridge calendar reflects on this Google calendar, and then anything that you manually or physically schedule on your Google calendar, that will fill the spot for this cartridge calendar. Gotcha. Right. So if you have a doctor appointment, put it on your Google calendar. That way no one schedules it on your Kartra calendar. Right. Gotcha. So, so I use Google calendar for, for obviously those reasons, but then also for the, really for the notification, because as someone comes to your, to your, to your, um, yeah, hit save and next as someone, as someone comes to your Kartra calendar and schedules a call, they get a book and confirmation email right away. And you get an email right away as well saying that someone just booked. So you do get a notification right away. And we're going to double check those notifications at the top. So click on your profile picture, the top right, and go to um, email notifications. And then click on in the top right, you'll see um, to your team, click on that one. And so just make sure that, um, that these are all the right ones. So turn off, I'll show you which ones to turn off. Turn off the top one, new affiliate. Um, calendar event, you can leave that on. Calendar subscription, off. Calendar subscription, off. Um, calendars off, turn that one off, subscription cancellation of vendor off, um, comment pending off, and then you want lead fills in opt-in form right there, turn that one on, perfect. That was the most important. So making sure that, okay, yeah, when someone schedules a, an appointment, you'll get an email right away. And then when someone opts into any of your funnels, lead fills in opt-in form, you'll get an email right away as well. Okay. So, but, but, but on the reminder, on the reminder, so when on the Google account, so go back up, you're done with this part. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to, to fill out there. So when it comes to the notification via email, you get that. But when the appointment comes up, when the appointment is like, like, let's just say 10 minutes away or 15 minutes away, Kartra doesn't send you a reminder. Kartra sends them a reminder one hour before, right? That's the email reminder, but you don't get a reminder on, on, there's no Kartra calendar for notifications for you. That's why I use Google because with okay. Google, with the Google calendar, at least, at least I'll, be, I'll, I'll look on my phone and be like, oh, not only do I have an email, but I have uh, an appointment. I can look on that as well. You'll, you'll, you'll know on your phone, Google calendar app phone, you'll, and on your, your, your computer here on your desktop, you'll know on Google prior to the appointment because you get the notification. You can okay. set that, that 30 minute reminder, 15 minute reminder right on your Google calendar. Mm -hmm. that's why I really use it because I get the notification. I get the notification. I don't get a notification when that appointment's coming up through, through Kartra. Okay. I only get the email notification when they actually booked the appointment. So when you book with me, I get an email saying, Hey, Heather just booked a call, hmm. but, 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 but leading up to our call, I don't get a notification. Right. Right. Okay. So, so, that, so that's perfect. So your Google calendar is ready to go. Cool. Thank so that's you. the Kartra calendar. Any other questions on anything else?